So for the last several months, the team here at Slant3D has been working on a new API. An API that allow anyone on the planet to get access to our print farm and be able to basically connect a website, an e-commerce store, a supply chain management system directly into our print farm in order to produce parts perfectly on demand and do it very affordably. That API is not quite done yet, but it is moving into beta. And as part of that beta, we built a little app on top of it. In this video, we're gonna talk about what that app is able to do and what it'll do in the future and some more updates about what software is coming down the pipe here at Slant3D. So the API has been a goal of ours for a long time. It allows anyone to access our enormous print farms in order to get scale for their 3D printed product and eliminates any sort of friction in the process of getting that done. So they don't have to go through a quoting process. They can just literally upload a file and get a print and know that it is affordable, cost-effective, and scalable. It's basically a data center for manufacturing where you buy what you use. So people will be able to upload thousands of files and then when they decide to actually order them, they can actually get a hold of them. And that system is almost ready to be released, but we wanna test it and really test it well before we turn it loose and have somebody build a business on it when it might be potentially building on sand because we missed something there. So we wanna test this system very exhaustively. But we want to do that in the real world. There's no way to test a system in a lab and actually know that you do it, are doing it reliably. So the first app we're releasing is a print-on-demand app. Basically, you have seen many of these before. They have existed for years, but someone is able to upload a file, they get an instant quote for what that file costs, and then they're able to order it and have it shipped to them. That is all this app is, but with a few twists on here. Right now, almost every 3D printing software print-on-demand app out there throws in every single 3D printing process that you can possibly get a hold of. Oh, do you want it in SLA? Do you want these 10 materials? Do you want these 12 colors? Basically, it gives the customer so many choices that it is impossible to make a choice. We wanted to go the exact opposite of that one. We wanted it to be very, very focused. And right now, there is no real support for print-on-demand with FDM. Again, without going through all of that chicanery. We wanted it to be very fast, clean, and easy so that people could upload their files and then get them quickly and easily every time after that. So we've released a print-on-demand app. Starting out, it has generic settings. You can have any color you want so long as it's black. You can have any material you want so long as it's PLA, and it will be printed at a 0.2 layer resolution with a 25% infill. From there, everything else is up to you. You have to ensure that your part is designed correctly for printing. We are giving you affordability, but at the cost of that, it means you get responsibility. It is your responsibility to make sure that the part is designed well and is able to be printed reliably. Quite frankly, since this is an FDM process, we don't consider it a good option for printing things like small D&D figurines. That's not what it's meant for. Maybe you could get away with a large model, but really what we see it as is a prototyping piece of software where somebody can just get out a demo of some design that they have without having to deal with 3D printing themselves if they don't have machines inside of their company or inside of their business, and then also give them an insight as to what printing would be like and kind of an insight as to what cost is, even though right now, since this is such a smaller scale, it will be less cost effective than the down road apps that we have that are more fully deployed. The app is laid out so that you upload the file, it will automatically quote it, and then you can just purchase it. If you are going through as a guest, you will have to sign in every time as a guest and put in your credit card information. If you want to sign up for the app and get a user profile, then it will store every file that you have ever ordered. And anytime you want another one of those files, you can just hit the button reorder and it will happen very quickly and you will get your part again. So again, we target this really towards somebody who might have long-term recurring needs for FDM printed parts without having to deal with all the rigmarole that those parts have. This is a beta release, so we do expect that there might be some bugs in the first couple of days. Please bear with us as we launch those, but we would love it if you guys would be willing to go over there and test it out and give us any sort of feedback there because this is the testing of the API. This app is built on top of our core API, and so long as it is working reliably and we get all the bugs worked out, we will be able to release that API very, very soon in order to give people full access to our print farms at any scale and for whatever their applications might be. It might be an Etsy store, it might be a whole new app, it might be plugging into your video game to print off 3D model assets. We wanna give people as quick and ready access to our print farms as we possibly can so that it's just an invisible warehouse where the shelves make the product. And this is the first step towards that. This Spread On Demand app we hope will be useful for folks for prototyping. Over time we will expand it, give it some more colors and materials based on feedback from all of you guys. But right now it's meant to be a very simple 
concise and quick and easy to use app to get FDM printed parts very quickly and very reliably for prototyping or for any sort of products that you have that might be black and made out of PLA. Have a great day, everybody.